And hello and welcome to another episode of The Idiot's Guide to Identifying Iron Cross's Second Class. And in this episode, we have the famous Maybauer Schinkel. But before we go on to the video, please do not forget to subscribe, press that notification button, and like and share. The Maybauer Schinkel is one of the few Schinkel form iron crosses out there. It is not as common as the Doimer Schinkel form cross, and it is one of the most desirable ones to get. In my opinion, all these shingle forms and iron crosses are desirable. Some just make some to be more desirable than the others. As you continue to grow your collection, you will find that there are several types of shingle form crosses, and I'll leave that up to you to look up which one you can add to your collection. And now we will teach you what features to look for when getting a Maybauer shingle. The thin neck of the frame. These were made from leftover Iron Cross second class parts from the First World War and have retained the shape of the Iron Cross second class from that period. The more familiar you become with Iron Crosses, the more familiar you will be able to note the differences between a TR Iron Cross and a Shingle Form Iron Cross. Another way to identify a Maybar Shingle is by the distinct three and the date. This is how the date looks like on the obverse and try to memorize the shape of that three because it's quite different from the shinkle form of a doimer and the other shinkle form crosses. And another distinct feature on this cross again is that really distinct three and date font which you can see on the reverse side of the cross. I mean apart from the fact that it also has a lug on top of it on the 12 o'clock arm this three can't be found on the other cross. So memorize this three and you will not go wrong with being able to identify a Maybar Schinkel. And this is what the obverse and the reverse or the front and the back of a Maybar Schinkel form looks like. Again, all I'm giving you are the basic information and the very simple and easily recognizable features you need to look for in identifying these iron crosses. And there you go, the Maybauer Schinkel. As mentioned earlier, we're just giving the basics. For more information, I would suggest deeper research on your part, but I know that a lot of you do not want to invest in a book yet or in other things that would involve investing extra money on how to learn these things so don't forget to subscribe to this channel you get all that information for free again these are just the basics so if you want to learn more in-depth information feel free to research online there are some really good forums out there but there are also very good books that you can purchase and get the latest edition of but the books will take you deeper if you would like to go on to that but these basic ones that i'm giving you are good enough for you to get into this hobby and you won't go wrong. Right guys, thank you very much for spending another few minutes of your precious time. And this is Chris Croyd saying, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share as we continue to grow our hobby. And uh, yeah, approach this with an open mind and uh, you can't go wrong. So until the next episode, I will see you all. Take care, continue to share the knowledge and share the love.